Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on theoretical and experimental probability. We first have some pr probability terminology that we need to define, and the first is that of the uniform probability model. This means that each outcome has an equal probability of occurring. Theoretical probability is what should occur in a probability experiment. For example, when you flip a coin, you should get heads 50% of the time and tails the other 50% of the time. It's based on uniform probability. Now, experimental probability is what actually occurs in a probability experiment. If you flip a coin 10 times, you may get heads six out of the 10 times or even seven out of the 10 times and tails the other three or four. It's what actually happens. And this is based on what's called relative frequency. In theory, the more you run an experiment, the more you flip that coin over and over and over and over again, the closer your answer should get to that theoretical probability. A coin was tossed 40 times and heads came up 18 times. Find the experimental probability of getting tails for this experiment. Then compare the experimental probability with the theoretical probability. Well, let's make sure we understand the outcomes of this event. For heads, this occurred 18 times. And for tails, if the experiment was run 40 times, 40 minus 18 results in 22. I'm going to assume that it didn't land on an edge somewhere or roll underneath a desk and not known. So heads 18, tails 22. And so then, if tails occurred 22 times, this occurred 22 out of 40 times, which simplifies into 11 out of 20 times, which for the experimental probability is 55%. Now, how does that compare to the theoretical probability? Well, in theory, we should be getting tails one half of the time. And if we wanted to write that out of 20, we could, you know, 10 out of 20, which is a 50% theoretical probability. Now, what does this mean in comparing the experimental probability with the theoretical probability? Well, we should, in theory, be getting tails 50% of the time. But in our experiment, it occurred 55% of the time. So what we can conclude is getting tails in the experiment occurred more often than expected. We would expect tails to occur 50% of the time. In our experiment, it occurred 55% of the time, so it occurred more often than expected. Miss Newman surveyed her class to see which sports they preferred watching. 
44% preferred football, 28% basketball, 20% soccer, and 8% tennis. Out of 560 students in the entire school, how many would you expect to say they preferred watching basketball? Well, basketball here in our question ranked at 28%. And so we can take this 28% and write it over 100. And we can set up a proportion then to find, well, out of the whole school, 560 is going to match the 100%. How many students can we predict prefers to watch basketball? We can cross multiply here. 28 times 560 is going to equal 100 times x. 28 times 560 is 15,680 equals 100x. And when you divide by 100 on both sides, your result is 156 and 8 tenths equals x, which we can just say 157 students. Now in summary, 28% preferred basketball, so we could write that as 28 over 100, and on the other part of our proportion equals x over 560. Now we wrote the 560 on the bottom to match the 100%. Because 28% out of 100%, the whole part is on the bottom, the part part is on top. The 28% matches the part of the school that watches basketball. After cross multiplying and solving, and then rounding, we answered 157 students. That is it for this lesson on theoretical and experimental probability. Good luck.